What's up dudes? Happy Monday. It is very early in the morning or late at night depending on how you want to look at it but I am currently reading Wonder Woman by Leigh Bardugo. This is a carryover from last week so working on this one and I'm also listening to but way too lazy to go and pick it up. The Fractured Light by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. I'm a fair way into this so I don't really know how long this will take me to read but I'm gonna work on it. But because I have nothing better to do with my life I have a huge stack of books right here. So I'm going to be figuring out a reading plan right now because what else do I have to do with my time? If you guys watch my August TBR then you know that I have a ton of really tall books on my TBR that I want to get rid of so started with this one and I'm glad that I did because this was a great one to start with but now I have a bunch more so I'm gonna try and make up a game plan. So if you guys watch that TBR then you would know that the end goal of this whole thing is to finally read A Court of Wings and Rune by Sarah J Mass because I haven't done that yet because I suck. So I might move on to this one after I'm done with Wonder Woman but I feel like this one is going to take me a very long time and I'm kind of worried that it's going to burn me out and I won't want to read any more tall books so I kind of at the same time want to get some of the other tall books off of my TBR before I decide to go for this one but then at the same time I don't want to try reading so many other tall books that I never even get to this one. There is no happy medium. Do you see my problem here? So the options for other tall books are Daughter of the Burning City by Amanda Foodie Rereading Falling Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes so then I can get to Rebel Spring by Morgan Rhodes, finally. And Gathering Darkness, which is somewhere up there, somewhere over the rainbow. Kind of at the top of this list right now is Last Magician by Lisa Maxwell because I'm just very intrigued by this for some odd reason. I honestly don't know why because I don't know that much about it, but like the three sentences in here just really got me. And now I have to read it to you. Stop the magician, steal the book, save the future. Also hoping to get to Truth Witch by Susan Dennard because once again, haven't read this yet. What is that nonsense? I have started the audiobook, but the audiobook just isn't for me, so I want to actually physically read it. Same with Falling Kingdoms, actually. I ended up listening to the audiobook, and I had to listen to it twice because there were so many things going on that I didn't retain anything, so I want to actually sit there and read it. There's just certain books that I find out after that I can't really listen to on audiobooks, so then I go back and read them again. It doesn't happen too often, but every now and again. But the last one that I might get to, but probably not, is The Thousandth Floor by Catherine McGee. This is one that I actually do want to try listening to the audiobook audiobook for it, easy for me to say, because I feel like it's one that I would enjoy the audiobook. So if you have listened to the audiobook, let me know if you liked it, because I might use my Audible credit for it. I don't know, but I don't want to spend that if I'm not going to like it. So I know I won't get to all of these before the end of the month, although that would be amazing, but I'm hoping that I can get to at least like three or four of them. But I also really want to get to Wild Beauty by Anna Marie McLemore. McLemore? I don't know how you say that, but it is coming out in September, so I want to read it before that, and it's magical realism, and I've been really into magical realism recently so I feel like this would be a good pick. That's kind of my reading plan for the rest of the month. Not sure how this week is gonna go as you guys know so I don't know. We'll see. An absolute angel. Good morning even though it's not morning anymore because it's noon but it is Tuesday and I have been busy reading all morning which is awesome. I have been making my way through The Fractured Light and I also was able to finish Wonder Woman which I'm very excited about. It was so good. I ended up giving it a 4.5 out of five stars. I took a bunch of notes while I was reading it so I'm going to do a whole book talk like spoiler free review and then a spoiler discussion so that will be coming hopefully soon. I want to get it up before the release date so I'm going to work on that but also my owl crate for July finally came. There has been an issue a couple of times. I think it's with like the post office or something but my owl crates have been saying that they're delivered but I never see them so it's very annoying in that happened with the July one so they were nice enough to send it to me again so I finally got it this time so I want to get an unboxing done for this. I don't know if I'll get it done today just because I'm working at 345 and I haven't even written my to-do list yet and it is like 12 and I really need to get a to-do list done or else I get absolutely nothing done during the day so I think I'm going to work on that and then I might end up starting The Last Magician by Lisa Maxwell. I'm not too sure what I'm going to read next yet but I don't know, we'll see, but for now I need to go and get myself organized. Hello, so I got home from 
work not too long ago but I tried before work starting The Last Magician and I just wasn't really feeling it. I mean I got a page or two into it so it wasn't that I wasn't liking it or anything. I didn't get far enough in to really formulate any opinions but I just wasn't really feeling it for whatever reason so now I think I'm going to go through a bunch of the tall books that are on my shelf and read a chapter of them but first I'm going to listen to my audiobook and try and finish that because I just need a little bit of a break after reading Wonder Woman so that's going to be my focus for now and then like I said I'm going to read a chapter of a few of these starting with A Court of Wings and Rune and whatever one ends up clicking is the one that I will end up reading. But it is shortly after 10 o'clock so I might end up just falling asleep before I end up reading any of them in which case I will do it tomorrow. So it's about 11 30 in the morning on Wednesday and I have been up since dying but I have just been sitting around but I was actually able to finish their fractured light. I gave it a 3.5 out of 5 stars. I really liked it but I didn't enjoy it quite as much as the two other books in the series but it was really good so I'm done that audiobook. So now I'm going to move on to Spindle Fire by Alexa Hillier. I'm going to start listening to that and I still don't know what I'm actually going to physically read yet. Like I have my options here and like I said yesterday I started The Last Magician and wasn't really feeling it so I don't know if I just wasn't in the mood because I was reading it right before I was starting work. I don't know if that's why but I might give that one another go but I did also start A Court of Wings and Rune. I only read like one page of it so I might try and continue with that or it's either Truth Witch or Daughter of the Burning City. I honestly don't know. I always get in these moods where I've just read a lot or I've just read a pretty big book and I feel like it took me a lot to read like it took a lot of energy to read if that makes any sense and then I have a lot of trouble deciding what to read next and I always have trouble deciding what to read next but like especially now I'm like I have no clue. So that's annoying but I do have a lot that I want to get accomplished today. I actually have the next week off which just kind of happened the way that scheduling ended up working out so that's kind of nice because I have a lot of stuff that I want to accomplish so I need to make up my schedule for writing and all that stuff. I need to actually get back to my book project. I need to plan out some videos, plan out some reviews, film some reviews, film some videos. I have to edit my Owl Crate unboxing. I have a lot of stuff that I want to get accomplished so my goal for this morning is to kind of figure out my schedule and all that. The morning's almost over but you get the point but anyways I'm going to go and get organized. So here we are still in the same position and that is because I haven't really done anything. Actually that's not true. I edited and uploaded my Owl Crate unboxing so that went up but I just got like suddenly I just felt really tired so then I just sat down on my bed and was playing games on my phone while listening to my audiobook but the good news is I'm really enjoying my audiobook. I am loving the writing. I'm liking it a lot more than when I was actually like physically reading it so I think that this will be a great audiobook but I really want to write. I have been putting off working on this project for a really long time because I have a lot of ideas for it but I haven't really sorted them out and sorted out how I'm going to make the story work so I really just need to go back to square one and take the ideas that I have and like compile it into something. So right now I am going to make my writing schedule and make my like weekly schedule thing and then I'm going to write for the rest of the afternoon because I need to stop procrastinating or else I'm never going to get anything done. So this is me holding myself accountable. We'll see how this goes. My room is a mess. We're just going to ignore it. I'm washing my sheets and my bed's not made and everything. It's whatever. But happy Thursday. I can't believe it's already Thursday. Like it feels like this week is going by very quickly but I'm currently two hours into the audiobook for Spindle Fire. I'm really enjoying it. I haven't really picked up a physical book yet. I've been reading a little teeny bit of Akawar, but not really enough to say that I'm like committed to it. Especially because yesterday I kind of switched focuses and my focus has now been on writing a lot, which is awesome. I've been watching some stuff that's going to help me with it. I'll talk about that more in my writing vlogs, which I'm going to be doing, but I have a huge to-do list today, including laundry, like cleaning stuff. I have videos to plan out, so that's kind of what I'm going to do now and I probably won't end up reading a lot more. I'm going to edit the footage that I have now. I'm hoping that I will be able to kind of sit down and read a little bit of Akawar, but like I said, writing has kind of become my priority right now, which I'm really happy about, but it's not really like physically writing right now because I'm still kind of tossing around ideas and trying to figure out what I want to do and I'm very stressed about that, but I can't wait until I can figure that out so that I can actually sit down and write. But for now, I have a ton of stuff to do, specifically YouTube stuff, so I'm gonna get that stuff done. Good morning and happy Friday. So I did update you yesterday, but I'm not including the clip in the vlog because I was talking a bunch of nonsense and changed my mind on it. Basically what I was saying 
saying was that I wasn't going to read this now and I was going to read I don't know what next but now I have decided to give this one another go because I've just been like my book has become my main focus right now so I've been really overwhelmed with that and thinking about that and trying to come up with ideas so that has been taking a lot on my brain so then I was like I don't want to read this right now but then last night I was like I kind of do want to read it right now so I'm going to give it another go right now I'm on page 34 and if I'm not feeling it then I'm gonna put it down but I feel like I hadn't given it a fair chance so now I'm going to try and give it a fair chance but today I have to clean my room I was going to film but I really need to get my eyebrows done and that's gonna bug me so I'm probably gonna go and get my eyebrows done today and then I will film tomorrow and I have a review to film two videos and then I just have writing stuff to do I don't really have too much else to do I have to finish laundry just some basic stuff but I'm hoping I can get a go on writing today but I'm also really happy that I'm reading because I have hardly read anything over the past two days the only thing that I've been doing is listening to my audiobook which is spindle fire and I have three hours and 45 minutes left in that so I'm trucking through that pretty quickly so I should be able to get that done but right now I'm going to try and actually physically read this baby this beast because I want to do it hello so it is Saturday and I actually just got back from the United States of America because we went shopping a little bit this morning the purpose of our trip was getting that chair right there because I never really have had like a reading spot in my room because my room's actually pretty small so there's not really enough room to have a nice chair but this chair is from Target and it's really nice because it folds up kind of like an outdoor chair it's super comfortable so I'm so excited to have a reading spot in my room but of course when I was in the States I had to visit Barnes and Noble and I got a bunch more stuff at Target so I'm gonna show you guys it really quickly and for the book stuff that I got I'm not really going to go too in-depth into it because I'll be talking about it more in a book haul so I'm just gonna kind of show you what books I got so first from Barnes Noble I got these adorable Alice bookmarks I'm obsessed with them then of course I also had to pick up another copy of Alice in Wonderland as well as an Alice in Wonderland coloring book because I'm a savage then I found a signed copy of the absolutely true diary of a part-time Indian by Sherman Alexie which is a book that I've had my eye on for a while so this was super exciting then I picked up the American editions of the Hogwarts library because I think they're prettier than the UK slash Canadian ones so it has Fantastic Beasts, Quidditch Through the Ages, and Tales of Beetle and the Bard. Then I picked up Wind in the Willows by Kenneth Graham and Frankenstein by Mary Shelley in the Barnes & Noble exclusive editions. And then I picked up a couple of books that I can't find in Canada so that is Out of the Easy by Verdis Apetis and The Looking Glass Wars by Frank Bedore. Is that who? Yeah, Frank Bedore. This is recommended to me all the time so I'm happy that I have it. So those are all the books that I got. I'm also working on kind of making my desk area nice which I think I mentioned in another vlog so I picked up a couple of things for my desk. First of all I picked up this little vase that I'm going to get some fake flowers to put in because I bought some real flowers and I killed them very promptly. I'm so sorry. R.I.P. And then I also got this desk calendar because I love calendars and I love being really organized and I like this one a lot. This one's from Barnes & Noble and it has like gold foil writing on the top and it changes color every month which is kind of cool so this will go on top of my desk. And then for above my desk I got a four picture frame because I had four frames on my desk but I don't have enough room for a big one like this so I think this is going to go on the shelves above my desk. I'm also planning on kind of making a thing with all the classics up there because I kind of have one right now but I'm gonna change it up so I can fit a few more and I want to put my Alice collection together again because it's kind of bugging me that it's just all over the place in my room. As far as clothing goes I picked up a few things from Target so first I got this little tank top right here which has ruffles on the bottom it's like blue and white stripe I really like ruffles I really like stripes too I don't know and then I got this little peasant top that's black and it's like see-through on the top but it has a nice crochet and it's a nice shape and then I also picked picked up this one which is just it reminded me a lot of fall so I uh, picked it up and then I got two pairs of pajamas because I'm obsessed with Target pajamas so they just have long bottoms but I'm just gonna show you the top they're the nicest material it is so soft and I have so many pairs of the ones with shorts but these ones have long pants for bottoms these have pancakes all over them and then the other pair that I got has owls all over them and they are adorable so those are all the things that I bought so far today I know we're going to the mall in my city later today so that might change hopefully not but if you guys like seeing hauls in these vlogs let me know I like talking about stuff that I bought because I really like shopping so I don't know also I think I might show you guys how I'm planning on changing my desk area and kind of as I do it so hopefully that's interesting to you but I just felt like I didn't have enough footage for this vlog so here we are also if you guys wanted to know how I'm doing with my reading which is the purpose of these vlogs I'm giving A Court of Wings and Rune another chance I don't know if I said that I think I said in a vlog yesterday but I'm currently I just passed the 100 page mark so I'm getting through it but today I've got lots of stuff to do and I need to put all this stuff away so I'm gonna go and do that hello 
myself. So I am actually filming this on Monday. I haven't really updated my reading in a while and that is partially because I haven't been reading and that is fully because of my cat. If you guys remembered last week's reading vlog, I talked about how we had to bring in my cat to the vet and he wasn't doing really great, but yesterday he kind of took a turn for the worst. So now he's really not doing great. So I just haven't been reading and I've just been eternally stressed out and just crying. So I am hoping for the best. He is on some medicine. We're taking him to the vet again later today. So it has just been not the best time. So I'm sorry if I don't seem like my usual chipper self. I am just in an awful mood because everything is awful. But I wanted to let you guys know what I ended up reading this week and kind of wrap up this reading vlog. So I honestly don't remember what order I read these books in because my mind is just elsewhere. So I'm sorry about that. But I believe the first book that I finished this week was Wonder Woman by Lee Bardugo, which I ended up giving a 4.5 out of 5 stars and I will be doing a full review for. Then I finished the audiobook for Their Fractured Light by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner, which I gave a 3 or 3.5 out of 5 stars. And I haven't told you guys this because I haven't been updating, but I also finished the audiobook for Spindle Fire by Lexa Hillier yesterday and I gave this a 3 or 2.5 out of 5 stars. I felt like it had tons of potential, the writing was really beautiful, but it didn't meet my expectations ultimately. So those are all the books that I finished this week. I also have been working through A Court of Wings and Rune by Sarah J Mass, and I am on page 113 so I was able to read 113 pages last week. These books take me forever so I'm not surprised by that especially with everything that's been going on. I am pretty happy with my progress actually but I'm hoping that I'll be able to read a little bit more because I need to really just distract myself from everything. So those are all the books that I read this week. I had a pretty good reading week. If you guys want to know more thoughts about any of these books I will be talking about them more in my wrap-up but that is all for now so I will see you guys in my next reading vlog. Bye!